Hey everyone, Benjamin Sullivan here, and welcome to another episode of my official vlog, Ben Vest Up! Wow, is it already the end of September? 2022 is just flying by! So, first things first, those of you who watch my videos will know from my last episode of Ben Vest Up that earlier this month I had my first official business trip, and I'm happy to say that it was an absolute success. I had a great time, and now I'm home safe and sound. Well, the truth is I've actually been home for over two weeks now, but I've been so busy with spending time with family, working my day job, and studying for my certifications that I haven't had any time to make any new videos until now. Now, during my business trip, I was not able to take a whole lot of videos because I was working most of the time. Now, if it was a vacation, I would have taken a lot more videos, but because it was a business trip, I was working long hours, so I wasn't able to take a whole lot of video. Actually, speaking of vacations, that reminds me, earlier this year, back in June, I did take a vacation to Branson, Missouri, and I never got around to editing or uploading those videos, with the exception of the last day of the trip when I made an, a visit to an attraction in Kansas. So I better add that to my to-do list to get those uploaded as soon as possible. Well, hey, better late than never, right? Well, anyway, I was able to take a few quick videos on my last day of my business trip before I flew back home. Let's take a look. I can't believe what I found in Utah, an open radio shack. and a gas station with the dinosaur. See the dinosaur over there? There's a dinosaur behind me. I'm gonna go take a selfie with it. And there's the dinosaur at the gas station. I don't care if people look at me and think I'm crazy. This is cool. I wanna get a selfie with this guy. Yeah, people are looking at me like I'm crazy, but I don't care. I wanted to come see the dinosaur. My pet dinosaur. Needless to say, I was quite shocked to find an open radio shack in Utah. And wasn't that green dinosaur cute? It kind of reminded me of the gas station from Toy Story. While I was in Utah on my business trip, I did have my laptop with me in my hotel room, so during the little free time I had, I was able to do a little bit of filming and video editing. I ended up making a reaction video of myself as the real-life Hank Hill reacting to my own live-action King of the Hill intro video, which, by the way, now has 1.3 million views. Boo! That's pretty dang good, I tell you what. Speaking of which, I still have the original unedited footage from that video on my computer, so I'm still planning on making a behind-the-scenes video soon, so stay tuned! And now, the big one. The big project that I was working on during my free time while I was on my business trip was I was remaking the 2001 trailer for the game Duke Nukem Forever. And yes, I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, that game came out back in 2011. Why are you making a new trailer for it 11 years later? And some of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you already know that I already remade that trailer back in 2011. So you're probably wondering, why did you make a remake of a remake? Well, there actually is a very good reason. So, the purpose of this episode of my vlog is not only to inform my viewers that I made a new trailer, but also to explain the reason for it and to give you some history behind it. So, let's rock! If you're a Duke Nukem fan like me, then you know that 2022 has been a big year for Duke Nukem fans, and especially for the game Duke Nukem Forever, but I'm going to go more in detail on that in another video. For right now, I'm just going to talk about the trailer. Back in 2001, 3D Realms released a trailer of the version of Duke Nukem Forever that they were working on at the time. It was using the very first edition of the Unreal Engine, and it looked incredible for the time. The graphics were ahead of its time, and it got everyone hyped up. Everybody who saw that trailer went, Wow, this looks incredible! It's gonna come out soon! I can't wait to play it! 
Unfortunately, that version of the game was never finished. 3D Realms made the decision to scrap that version of the game and start all over on a new version of the engine, so that particular version of the game was never released. Well, it was never officially released, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So anyway, let's fast forward 10 years to the year 2011. In 2011, the game Duke Nukem Forever was finally released after being in development hell for over a decade, and the version that was released, the final version of the game, was a totally different game than what we saw in the 2001 trailer. It was considered a disappointment and received mostly negative reviews. Now, in my opinion, it wasn't as bad as everyone said it was, and I actually enjoyed it, but that's a discussion for another video. And actually, if you go back on my channel, you can still find videos of me playing the game when it was first released back in 2011. Wow, I looked so much younger back then. So, back in 2011, when the game was new, I was playing through the game, and even though it was a totally different version than what we saw in the 2001 trailer, I noticed that a lot of content from the 2001 trailer was in the 2011 game, so that gave me an idea. I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can recreate that trailer using the 2011 game. And I did. So less than two weeks after Duke Nukem Forever was released, I remade the trailer using footage from the 2011 game. I was happy with it, and I uploaded it to YouTube, and you can still find it. It's still on my channel. So now the question is, why did I recently remake it? Well, hey, there's no law that says you're not allowed to remake a remake, right? Well, here's the first reason. First of all, even though I was happy with the way it turned out, after re-watching it a few times, I noticed some things that I could have changed. I saw a few things where I said, mm, maybe I should have used a scene from this part of the game instead of that part. I mean, nothing too serious, but I did notice some things that I could have done to improve it. But, here's the second reason. As I said earlier, not all the content from the 2001 trailer was in the 2011 game, but a lot of it was. But, Six months after Duke Nukem Forever was released, an expansion pack was released called The Doctor Who Cloned Me, and some of the stuff from the 2001 trailer that was not in the final game was in the new expansion pack. The most obvious example would be the robotic enemies. In the 2001 trailer, there's a scene where it shows an enemy that's a robot that looks very similar to the T-800s from the Terminator movies. Well, when I first remade the trailer, I couldn't include that because those enemies were not in the final game. But, in the expansion pack, the Doctor Who cloned me, they did make a return. Now, they looked a little bit different because they were updated, but that's the thing is the Terminator machines that we saw in the original 2001 trailer were not in the 2011 game, but they were in the expansion pack that came out six months later, which was after I had already made the trailer. So I remember back in 2012, I was playing through the Doctor Who cloned me, and when I saw the Terminator machines, I remember thinking, now that I have footage of a Terminator machine in the 2011 game, maybe I should remake the trailer. However, the problem was by then the hype for the game had died down, and I was working on other projects, so I sort of just brushed it off as, eh, it's something I'll, I'll do later, I'll take care of it later, but I never did. Until now. Fast forward to the year 2022. It's now been 21 years since we saw the 2001 trailer, and 11 years since the final version of the game was released. And here's why this year has been a big year for Duke Nukem fans. Earlier this year, the unfinished version of Duke Nukem Forever that we saw in the 2001 trailer was leaked online for the first time. So now, people can download and play the 2001 version for free. Now obviously it's an incomplete game because it's still beta, but once again, that's a discussion for another video. But another reason this has been a big year for Duke Nukem Forever is because right after the leak of the old version was released, it turns out an editor was discovered for the final game. So the final game was released back in 2011, but since then, there haven't been any mods or user maps or anything made for it because there was no editor. Well, actually, it turns out there was an editor, but it was hidden. It was hidden deep within the game, and it was just recently found. So basically, in the year 2022, the old version of Duke Nukem Forever was leaked online, and the final version had an editor, a, a hidden editor that was discovered. So now, Duke Nukem fans are both restoring the original version, as well as making new maps and new mods for the final version. So that's why 2022 has been a big year for Duke Nukem fans. 
So I thought to myself, now that Duke Nukem Forever is popular again, this is the perfect time for me to remake the trailer that I originally made 11 years ago. So, while I was on my business trip, in the hotel during my free time, I started recording footage of the game, because I had the game on my laptop, so I started recording footage and I started remaking the trailer. Now, I didn't get a chance to finish it while I was there, but I did finish it up when I got home and I uploaded it about a week ago. So not only does it contain the fixes, as well as some footage from the Doctor Who cloned me, but it's also in a higher resolution and a higher frame rate, so it's higher quality as well. So please, if you haven't done so already, head on over to my channel and take a look at my videos. You'll see the new version of the 2001 trailer from Duke Nukem Forever. So what I did for this version is I still, I still gave it the same title as the original one called 2001 Trailer Remade with 2011 Game Footage, but in parentheses I put 2022 Update. So, now we all know that Duke Nukem Forever is popular again, so I do plan on making some more Duke Nukem Forever related videos in the near future. Well, thank you very much for watching another episode of my vlog, Ben Vest Up. Stay tuned for more videos in the near future. Have a great day, YouTubers!